testing E85 content is very important. Here I've got a little tester that I got offline from eBay. You can get these online from anywhere about 10 to $20. If you're trying to get more sophisticated, you can go ahead and buy one of the digital readers. You can get them from Innovate and you can get them from a few other different companies as well. Um, they typically use a GM flex fuel sensor. In this case, when we're tuning and we're getting ethanol E85, especially if we're doing a base tune, we always want to ensure that we know the ethanol content that we're utilizing in our fuel tank. In this case, I always suggest, especially if you have a bit of fuel mixing and you're about to make a base tune, that you go ahead and you do a test of the fuel that's in your gas tank after you filled. But for most general and intensive purposes, if we're going to a fuel pump, we're going to go ahead and get a little sample with a dropper at the fuel pump we're pumping from. Here, of course, I've already got my water line. Testing it is very easy. You use one dropper, fill it up with fill it up to the water line, and then you'll take the dropper that contains your actual fuel sample and you add that one in. So here I'm gonna go ahead and add this one into the bottle. And it's got a fuel fill line at the top as well for where they want you to fill it to. We've gotten it up to that fill line just about right. I can see the meniscus, so it's perfect. What I always suggest to do when you're taking these fuel samples, when you go ahead and you cap it off, warm the bottle up a little bit with your hands or let it warm up to at least room temperature, especially if the water's cold or the conditions are cold. Um, and make sure you shake the bottle at least once to agitate the mixture so that all the fuel and ethanol and the water can separate correctly and give you the correct reading. Of course, this is a sample taken from El Dorado, Arkansas at the Murphy USA gas station and we'll be able to see what our ethanol content is. I previously tested E85 exactly because El Dorado is always the MVP of ethanol content and we'll see what we end up settling out on here in a little while. Looks like for our ethanol test for El Dorado, Arkansas, we're reading at about exactly E85 as the content percentage. Of course, when we're doing this, I'll delve into tuning and adaptive tuning, especially for older EEC5 models on Ford motor vehicles. We've got a good ethanol content, though, and what you always want to pay attention to is your content because that affects your air-fuel ratio more so at the pump than it affects your spark timing. So we always want to be sure that we are getting a consistent blend of E85 if we're doing tuning or any diagnostics. In any cases that you have a fuel variance, be sure that you talk to your tuner about how much you can vary the content of the ethanol, especially in a daily driver and especially in a vehicle that you're going to be doing a lot of racing in. That's all I've got for this. We can delve into the second half of the video in which we'll go over some tuning and some details of how to make an adaptive strategy work correctly with various blends of E85.